Hey guys, welcome back to another Forex tutorial video. So today in this video, we're going to talk about Fibonacci retracement. So I know you've heard a lot about Fibonacci and sometimes for new traders, it doesn't make sense how Fibonacci retracement or Fibonacci series work. So in this video, we're going to talk about how Fibonacci series is formed and what are different Fibonacci ratios. And after that, we're going to go through how you can spot golden zones using Fibonacci retracement and its levels and what should be your stop loss and take profit levels at different Fibonacci ratios and in the end we're gonna go through example on the charts in order to understand Fibonacci retracement better please make sure to hit the subscribe button so that you can get the new video updates regularly from our channel so without any further ado let's get started so what is Fibonacci retracement? In order to understand Fibonacci retracement, we need to understand what, you, what is basically Fibonacci series. So Fibonacci series is formed when we add two numbers and next number is formed. So let's say if we start with zero and the next number is one. So if we add zero and one, we get one. Okay. So after that, if we add one and one, we get two and after that we get if we add one and two we get three so basically the previous two numbers form the next number in Fibonacci series and in a similar way we go on and this series keeps going on and on okay so if we add 21 plus 13 we are basically getting 34 so the cool thing about Fibonacci series is the ratios now if we divide 13 by 21 we basically get 0 0.618 okay and it, which is basically a Fibonacci ratio and this ratio is a natural ratio or golden ratio which is found almost in all patterns throughout the universe okay and if we divide 21 by 13 we again get 1.618 okay so there are basically different ratios. The most commonly used Fibonacci ratios are basically 0 0.236, 0 0.382, 0 0.618, and 0 0.764, okay? And those ratios are found by different, dividing different numbers, okay? So if we divide two numbers, let's say if we divide 34 by 89, we will get 0 0.382, okay? So here we have 0 0.618 which we got by dividing 13 by 21 so this is basically a golden ratio okay the fibonacci retracement levels help us find the strong or valid supply zones and demand zones in a chart okay or in a trend one thing to keep in mind is that fibonacci retracement is always used in order to determine the level of stop loss and Fibonacci extensions are always used in order to determine the take profit levels. The Fibonacci retracement strategy only works if the market is trending. Okay, There's, there should be impulsive moves in the market and on those impulsive moves we apply this Fibonacci retracement strategy in order to get the retracement levels from where we can place our stop loss and take profits which we are just going to discuss next okay so now that you understand how fibonacci ratios are formed like this 0 0.618 is formed by dividing two consecutive numbers and if we divide 13 by 21 we basically get 0 0.618 okay so now let's go on and understand how you can use fibonacci retracements on the chart okay so here we have a big impulsive move now as we have always discussed in the previous videos that these moves or these impulsive moves are made by big banks and big institutions so after this big move there will always be a retracement now the thing is we need to understand to what level the price will come down or retrace okay because it moved from here to here very quickly now it's going to retrace a little bit and then con either continue its trend okay or either fall down so here after this impulsive move the retracement level can be determined using fibonacci series so inside trading with dashboard you can get to the fibonacci from here okay and this fibonacci retracement so if if the market is trending and the big impulsive move is in the upward direction or in the bullish direction what you need to do is you need to you need to find out the swing highs and swing low 
so if the if the market is trending upward you need to in order to draw the fibonacci retracement levels you need to start from swing low which is basically this level and draw it towards the swing high so let me just do that and here you can see that when we come to this level we have basically drawn fibonacci series retracements okay or fibonacci retracement levels now this area between 0 0.618 and 0 0.5 is basically a golden zone and most of the times this the price will retrace back to this golden zone okay it's not always but it's most of the time so you need to keep that in mind that this 0 0.618 is a natural phenomenon okay you will be able you will be able to find 0 0.618 in almost all the patterns that you find in the universe so that's why we use it and we apply it in forex you might get overwhelmed by, by the forex charts in the beginning but you should keep that in mind that forex charts always have recognizable patterns so this retracement level or fibonacci retracement is one of those patterns which in forex which are mostly work okay so this area between 0 0.618 and 0 0.5 is basically a golden zone okay when the market is trending up this area will basically act as a strong support zone okay and when the market retraces back after a big impulsive move the, there are a lot high chances of market retracing back to this level and then bouncing again towards upward direction so now let's go on and study how you can use fibonacci for different types of trends okay so if i draw fibonacci retracement level here and see that the market is if we see that the market is not trending high and our probability of our retracement is till this 0 0.786 level okay then what we need to do is we need to put our stop loss at this level and put our take profit at fibonacci retracement level one if i draw this because now i'm going i'm drawing this in the opposite direction or at retracement so what i need to do is i need to start at swing high and go towards swing low okay so we will be placing our retracement our take profit at this level so in this case the market is not trending a lot the retracement was till this level like there was a lot of retracement there was a big impulsive move but there was a lot of retracement as well which means the market is not trending very well okay and this trend was not very good or very impulsive so that's why the market retraced back to this 0 0.786 level or 78.6 level and what we need to do is we need to put our stop loss here and take profit at this level one because this all uh, if the retracement is a lot and more then it also has less potential of going upward and moving forward in the upward direction okay and this is basically our uh, strategy for weak trend okay Stra if the probability of an impulsive move is to retrace back towards 0 0.618 level then what we need to do is we need to put our stop loss at this level at just below this level in order to cover the spread and we need to place our take profits at almost 1.272 okay this level so we, we because the retracement in this level is a bit less than this here in the big trend that's why we will be placing our take profit at 1.272 and our stop loss at 61.8 because this is basically our golden ratio as well okay and moving on next we have the strongest trend or the stronger trend in which our retracement only happens till the level of 50 50 percent okay or 0 0.5 now here the retracement is even smaller than this level which we had in 61.8 okay so this level of retracement of 50 in here what we need to do is we need to put our stop loss at this level and put our take profit at almost 1.618 okay so let me draw this from here to here so we need to put our take profit at this level so again let me repeat that whenever we are applying the fibonacci retracements to the trends we need to determine either the trend is weak or strong okay or even stronger so when the trend is weak the retracement will be 
a lot or much higher but if this trend is strong the retracement will start will be small okay so in this case here the trend was weak and it retraced back to 78.6 so that's why we also put our take profit at one because it also has that less potential to move a lot in the upward direction and in the stronger trend it retraced back to only 61.8 that's why we put our stop loss at a slightly higher level than the previous one or in a weak trend so that's why we put our stop loss uh, at this level and take profit at 1.272 and in a stronger trend where it retraced back to only 50 we put our stop loss at almost 50 and we put our take profit at even higher level than one we did in strong trend we put our take profit at 1.618 now let's go to our charts and start try to understand how you can use Fibonacci retracements on the trends that you spot on the charts. Okay, so let me just remove these in order to make the charts a bit more clear. So now let me zoom out a little bit and let me go towards the charts here. So here we can see the similar types of swings forming and so here we have a swing here and this is basically our swing low this one is basically our swing low and this is basically our swing high and this is the retracement that it did so if i want to under understand if i was here and i want to see to what level this might retrace it it probably will retrace towards the golden ratio so if i go here and draw from here to here so you can see it almost retraced toward the 0 0.618 level okay so after this impulsive move it retraced back to this golden zone and then it started moving upward now this here is basically again our swing low and this is our swing high and if we go towards the next swing this is again basically our swing low this level and this level is swing high so if we want to understand if it was trending upward and then we found uh, found out that this is going to be a swing high now we need to understand to what level will it retrace because this is basically an impulsive move caused by big banks and institutions and now the after this impulsive move the market is going to retrace back so if i start from this swing low and go towards swing high i should be able to see that the golden zone is forming here and the retracement is also within this zone so it basically retraced back to this golden zone as i said in the beginning the golden zone is basically between 0 0.5 and 0 0.618 level so let me go towards the next swing and even if here i start from this level and go towards this we will be able to see that it is again retracing back to almost this golden zone it's amazing to see that how market is following the fibonacci series because you can see here at almost three to four swings i have shown that the market is retracing back towards this golden zone and even in this next one if we draw the fibonacci series from this swing low to this swing high you can see again the market retraced back to almost this golden zone okay so this is very important to understand where you need to put your take profits and stop losses and to know where to which level the market is going to retrace back so that you can place your stop loss and take profits at appropriate levels so using the fibonacci series and fibonacci levels these basically these fibonacci horizontal lines you can find out at the when once the swing is formed and you are able to spot the swing high and swing low you can basically use this fibonacci series in order to see to what level the market is going to retrace back as you saw here that it always retraced back to the golden zone which is basically between 0 0.5 and 0 0.618 so if you have any questions please comment down below and i would love to answer them also please make sure to hit the subscribe button to get our upcoming video updates regularly and you can also visit our website www.forexb.co in order to learn more about forex and pie section and see you guys in the next video thank you